Hello, and welcome to Mini Orange. In this video, we will demonstrate to you how you can restrict and secure unauthorized access to your Drupal APIs using the API Authentication Module in Drupal. This module allows you to authenticate your API requests by verifying the identity of clients using various methods. In this video, we will see how to configure API key-based authentication method. This method involves including the unique API key along with your API request, to verify the user's identity. Let's see how it works. When your application sends an API request to Drupal, the module will authenticate the provided key. If the API key is valid, then you will be allowed to access the Drupal resources. If the API key is invalid or missing, then the Drupal API authentication module will restrict your access and send an error message. Now let's configure the module. Before proceeding with the video, please ensure you have installed the Mini Orange REST API authentication module on your Drupal site. We already have a video and setup guide for the installation. You will find links for both in the description. Once you have installed the module, please go to the Extend tab of the Drupal site. Scroll down to the Web Services section. Ensure that you have installed the selected modules. The REST UI is a contributed module that provides you with a user interface for configuring REST resources. Let's take an example of creating user in Drupal using Postman. Click on the Configure button. Scroll down to the User section and click on the Enable button. Now, as our goal is to create user, for that select following configuration. And click on the Save Configuration button. Now let's create an API key field in Drupal, so that we can save the generated API key for each user. If you are using the free version of our module, you can skip this step. To do so go to the Configuration tab, and click on the Account Settings. Then click on the Manage Fields tab. Click on Add Field button. Select field type as text plane. Enter label name as API key. Please ensure that the machine name of the field should be field underscore API underscore key. And click on the Save and Continue button. Then click on the Save Field Settings button. Now click on Save Settings button to save your created field. You can see API key field is created successfully. Now for configuring this method. Click on the REST API Authentication Configuration. Under the API Authentication tab, select API Key Method. And click on Save Configurations button to select the method. Now let's generate the API key for the particular user. To do this, enter the username of that user here. And click on the Generate button. If you want to generate a unique API key for all the users, simply click on the Generate Key for All Users button. Now, go to the People tab, and click on the Edit button. Scroll down to the API key text field. Copy the generated API key, and keep it handy. Let's try to make server-to-server -server call using the Postman application, to see if this method is working correctly or not. In your Postman, enter the URL for creating the user. Under the Body tab, enter the values to create user. You can also find a sample format of these values in the description. And click on the Send button. If you notice as we did not provide the username and API key in the authorization header, so our module restricts this call. Under the Authorization tab, select the basic auth type, and enter the username and API key. And click on the Send button. You have successfully created user by making an API request. Let's see if the user has been created on the Drupal site. Go to the People tab of the Drupal site. As you can see user is successfully created. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions please reach out to us at DrupalSupportedSecurify.com.